Hi, welcome to Lifelike Tutorial. Today we're going to look at how you can use the curricula for science that are in Lifelike in your lessons. That means we're going to look at the content and different activities that are inside. We're going to look at how you can use the 3D models uh, to excite your students or how you can use the textbook correlation to match the textbooks you might be using. So let's immerse in and see what's inside. So I'm using Lifelike web app and I'm also using a mouse uh, so you can see where I'm pointing at uh, with my cursor. The curriculum section opens defaultly automatically just when you launch the app. There are some more sections here in Lifelike, but today we really want to focus on curriculum. The curriculum section contains Dr. Carter's curricula for middle school and high school science, and also you can find separately all lesson plans in Lifelike that include also elementary school science lesson plans, but we'll look at these later on. Dr. Carter 6 Curricula for Science covering middle school and high school uh, contain these titles. Life Science for the 7th grade, Earth and Space Sciences for 6th grade, and Physical Science for 8th grade, and then the high school curricula include physics for 11th grade, biology for the 10th grade, and chemistry for the 9th grade. So let's look inside one of them. And I'll choose life science for middle school. Each curriculum consists of a certain amount of units that you can find right here on the left side and from 75 to 80 lesson plans. You can browse them all at once after you open the curriculum or you can find them in separate units according to the lessons and topics you want to teach. Every curriculum is aligned to next generation science standards and common core and also is correlated with the most commonly used science textbooks in US. Lifelike's curricula can be used as a core or a supplemental curriculum. In case you want to use the 3D models to supplement the textbooks you're just using in your lessons, you can do so by using the filter in the right upper corner right here. As you can see, the curriculum is set to CK12 uh, defaultly, but you can reorganize the content of the curriculum and the lesson plans by choosing another textbook, such as Pearson or perhaps Discovery Education. This makes it really easy for you to find and choose the lesson you need. I'll switch back to CK12 and will show you what the particular lesson plan looks like. I'm teaching life science, I'm teaching 7th graders, and I'm in the beginning of my course. So let's look at the unit 3. And I'm teaching cell structures today. So I can either open the lesson plan right away, or I can check the summary of the lesson plan to make sure it's really the lesson I want to teach. So what I have here is different information about the lesson plan including the keywords and textbook correlation okay i really want to use this lesson so now it's time to dive a bit deeper let me open it so i've got the lesson plan open every single lesson plan includes interactive 3d models and also the teacher is provided with information uh, what standards of NGSS and Common Core are covered, learning objectives, textbook correlation, etc. The lesson plan also follows the 5E instructional model. The model has been developed for effective science instruction 
and consists of five E's representing different parts of the learning process. The first E, engage, wants me to engage students with a discussion about the plan cell. So by clicking at the model, I can open the model and make it really interactive. By tapping this button, I can open the 3D model in the detailed view so I can really see all the detailed parts. There you go. By clicking on different parts here on the left side, I can highlight specific parts of the model. I can rotate the model to have really a detailed view of what I want to see and I can also zoom in to see that in details. Also, I can click or tap right on the parts of the 3D model and to see here on the left side what I'm actually looking at. The model is always provided with an introduction providing information about the model and also about the specific functions of the different models parts. Okay, now I want to engage my students with something more cool than just a text introduction. So I switch off the introduction by clicking on it. I can also uh, deactivate highlighting of the parts of the models. Uh, I'll do it by clicking out of the model and I will activate the augmented reality view because every single 3D model in lifelike is available also in augmented reality AR. I can lay over the 3D model over what I see with my web camera. So I can bring the environments or objects to the physical space of my classroom to let students interact with the objects that would normally not be there and that they could normally not see. So what I can do is that I can let them place uh, the model of a plant cell onto you know, the right environment to demonstrate their knowledge. And they can perhaps take a screenshot right here on the right side that saves into my device and I can use it later on for my science report or perhaps I can uh, take a video um, as a part of the documentary movie about, about the nature. Uh, I use two fingers if I have a touch screen to place the model on my, on, over my screen and uh, on the laptop or with the desktop I use the right button. What I can also do is I can make learning a bit more personal. So I swap camera right here in the right upper corner which enables the selfie mode. So perhaps I can let my students take selfies with the models they're just learning about to have more fun and kind of like share their learnings more easily. So let me get back to the 3D model. So that was AR. Now I'm back in the interactive 3D view and I can anytime come back to continue with my lesson plan. The second E, Explore, is dedicated to student exploration. It includes multiple links to OER resources in CK12 that expand the student knowledge about the concepts. I can open perhaps Cell Membrane where students find a lot of additional information about the concepts they're just learning about. The third section of 5 E's is called Explain. This is a time for students to explain what they learn to each other and discuss the different concepts. In the following section, Extend, Elaborate, students use the new knowledge in the new context and perhaps use it and show it in the real-world application. In the last section of the lesson plan, teachers evaluate what students learn. 
by letting them demonstrate and discuss their learnings and also assess students by taking quizzes. What's really important is that in the web app, I can always use the link of the lesson plan to share it with my class, either with use of learning management system or any other tools such as Google Classroom or OneNote. We'll show more about how you can share your lessons and 3D models in other tutorials. Now I can return back to my curriculum. I can add the lesson plan to favorites to use it with perhaps another class. And also I can find some more additional content by using the keywords here. So by clicking on the cell, I can find all the related content such as lesson plans, units of the curricula, 3D models, and even libraries containing content related to cells. The lesson plans can be used as a part of the curriculum titles by Dr. Carter, or they can be also used separately. You can browse hundreds of lesson plans for elementary school, middle school, and high school by using the search filters according to the author, subject, grade, standards, and textbook correlation or type. Okay, so I believe that's it for today. Next time, we'll focus on how you can use the curriculum and the 3D models with your favorite tools such as OneNote, Google Classroom, or G Suite. And please, you let us know what you'd like us specifically to cover because there's much more tutorials to come.